welcome to CanDo Canine Summer 2022 Graduation. I'm Jeff Johnson, the Executive Director here at CanDo Canines, and I'm so excited to be able to introduce you to 12 new partnerships between some truly amazing people and truly amazing dogs. Earlier today, we brought together these graduate teams along with their families and the volunteers who helped raise their dogs to view the video you're about to see. They had an opportunity to meet each other and celebrate together and create some new connections. As we move further past COVID in the future, we'll figure out the best way to include more of you in the future graduation ceremonies. But for now, thank you for joining us virtually to celebrate these new teams. One of the many highlights from today includes two facility dog graduate teams. We trained these facility dogs for specific skills, just like our other assistance dogs, but to serve multiple clients instead of just one. The two teams were formed to work at M Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital in Minneapolis in order to serve thousands of children and their families in the coming years. Before you meet our new teams, I want to thank all of those who are responsible for making this graduation happen. Those who've donated puppies to us, those who've given medical care to these dogs, our army of volunteers who give a part of their lives training and loving these dogs, our generous donors who allow us to always provide our dogs free of charge, and our amazing staff of professionals here at Can Do Canines. And of course, we want to thank our clients for choosing us to partner with them as they enter this exciting new stage of their lives. Everyone's support is the reason we're able to share these inspirational routines with you today. You'll hear next about each of these graduating pairs from Mary Sue Kruger. She's a longtime supporter and former board president of Can Do Canines, and she'll narrate each team's awesome story to you now. Thank you for your support, and I hope you enjoy our summer 2022 graduation. Ray Ray was born with Charcot Marie Tooth disease, which causes a loss of muscle tissue and touch sensation. She was matched with mobility assist dog Yeti when her first Candu Canine Tango retired. Ray Ray says, I wouldn't have been able to get around high school without Tango, and I don't think college this fall would be an easy transition without Yeti. The yellow lab tugs open drawers and doors, even helps with laundry. He retrieves dropped items and braces to help Ray Ray stand up by leaning on him. Ray Ray wants to major in disability studies and biology. Disability awareness is nothing new to her. She founded the St. Paul School District's first Student Disability Alliance Club. She says, Yeti and I are going to take what I learned and bring that to college. It's so important to educate people about living with a disability because it's so different for everyone. Congratulations to successor Mobility Assist Dog Team, Ray Ray and Yeti. When Vietnam vet Steve removed his cochlear implants at night, he felt vulnerable to sounds he couldn't hear. His wife Margaret says, I use my outdoor voice a lot. It was exhausting. Enter hearing assist dog Andy. The young black lab improves communication for everyone. Andy alerts Steve to important sounds like the phone and the smoke detector. Shortly after Andy moved in, he alerted Steve at 1 a.m. to an alarm going off. The carbon monoxide detector was beeping. Luckily, it was only a dead battery, but Andy knew his job and performed it perfectly. If Steve is in his man cave, Andy lets him know when someone's knocking at the door. Margaret says, I really think Andy has made Steve feel like he's not alone. He's always got someone he can talk to, someone that agrees with him all the time, she jokingly adds, then goes on to say, Our only question about Andy is, why did we wait so long? Congratulations to hearing assist dog team Steve and Andy. Teresa and Felicia were delighted when M Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital added facility dog Fern to help them care for their patients. 
Fern is one of two dogs graduated from Candu Canine's facility dog pilot program this spring. She fit right in from her first day on the job. Fern loves to snuggle, which helps children of all ages relax and be less fearful. Rehabilitation after surgery is easier with a four-legged friend beside you. Felicia says, it's really cool to see how intuitive Fern is. She knows what's needed in the moment. Teresa adds, I feel really lucky that Candu Canines had faith in us and chose these dogs for us. When she's not on one of her units, Fern co-hosts closed-circuit TV broadcasts that help improve outcomes for all her young patients. Teresa says the program has exceeded all my expectations. Congratulations to Facility Dog Team Fern, Teresa, and Felicia. Megan grew up with profound hearing loss. She can't hear everyday sounds like a phone ringing or life-saving sounds like a smoke detector. Raven is her hearing assist dog. Before Raven, Megan often had to ask someone to tap her on the shoulder if she wasn't responding to a sound. Today, Raven alerts Megan to the sounds she misses. She paws at Megan's leg or nudges her and then takes her to the source of the sound. Now Megan always knows when someone's knocking on her door or calling her from another room. With Raven by her side, Megan not only enjoys the present more, but she's also excited about the future. I'm most grateful for the independence Raven gives me, she says. I no longer need to rely on others. She's thankful for the time and resources that Can Do Canines put into training her special dog. With Raven, Megan has found an added sense of security that she hadn't experienced before. Congratulations to Hearing Assist Dog Team, Megan and Raven. Brendan has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a muscle wasting disease. His mobility assist dog, Harley, makes sure he can get whatever he needs. His parents, Nathan and Kat, beam when they talk about his growing independence with Harley. Nathan says, before, he would try to pick things up, but he was always at risk for a fall. Now Harley opens and closes doors, retrieves out-of-reach items, and picks up anything Brendan drops. He's amazed at how excited she is to help. Kat says, with Harley, Brendan has more power. The whole family knows Harley won't quit until she gets the job done. Kat says I trust her to take care of Brendan, and she knows that if he needs more help, Harley will get it for him. When the family's out, they notice a difference in how other people react. It's a gentler, softer reaction, Kat says. To see the joy on other people's faces is a real nice change. Nathan says we're just so grateful. Congratulations to Mobility Assist Dog Team Brendan and Harley. Eleven-year-old Briella has autism spectrum disorder. Basil is her autism assist dog who keeps Briella safe. Her mother, Sandra, says family outings were limited because of Briella's flight risk. Now she's tethered to Basil with a special leash when they're out in public. If Briella tries to run, Basil plops down and becomes a warm, fuzzy anchor. At home, her father, Chris, helps Briella practice grounding routines like brushing and feeding Basil. If she's agitated, Basil will visit, lying across her body to calm her. Briella loves the sensory stimulation of having her face licked, and Basil loves to lick faces, so they're a good partnership, Sandra says with a smile. Today, life looks different for the whole family. They have a lot more opportunities to go and do things. Chris adds, Basil does such a good job with Briella, 
we're grateful for her training and skills. Congratulations to Autism Assist Dog Team Briella and Basil and their family. After contracting MRSA, an antibiotic-resistant staph infection, former chef Paul needed help with everyday life. His mobility assist dog, Zeke, is Paul's recipe for improved comfort and safety. Neuropathy causes a lack of feeling in his hands, so Paul drops things frequently. His prosthetic leg, due to a foot amputation, makes it difficult for Paul to bend over. Zeke picks up anything Paul drops and retrieves any items that are beyond his reach. Paul says not having to strain to get something is quite beneficial. Paul adds that having Zeke has given him almost a 100% turnaround, allowing him to be more active. They love to walk together, whether outside or around stores. The people in Paul's life have also noticed a remarkable change in him. They say, I'm not as stressed as I used to be. For Paul, Candu Canine Zeke appears to be the secret ingredient for a healthier life. Congratulations to Mobility Assist Dog Team Paul and Zeke. Candu Canine Tasha was placed at M Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital as part of Brave and Resilient Kids, or Bark Buddies, the Nutrisource Facility Dog Program. Anna, Tasha's lead handler, says she brings a lightness and a playfulness and a joy that's really contagious and really needed. Along with Fern, her facility dog colleague, Tasha helps care for children during their hospital stays. She also helps ease the fears of young patients who are in for single-day procedures. Tasha's secondary handler, Amy, says, There's nothing better than when an anxious child relaxes and forgets about even being in the hospital when they have a dog by their side. Remarking on this new partnership with Candu Canines, Anna says, We feel incredibly lucky to be part of this outstanding organization. Congratulations to Facility Dog Team Tasha, Anna, and Amy. Sage has a neurological disorder that causes issues with balance and movement control. One time she was stranded without her crutch for 40 minutes. Now, if mobility assist dog Bella hears the crutch drop, she races to retrieve it. Sage adds, another issue with the crutches is that when I use them, I can't carry anything. Bella helps by retrieving the items Sage needs, like a water bottle, her phone, even getting an ice pack from the freezer and going back to close the door. Her mom, Lisa, says, Bella has given my husband and me such peace of mind. We know if we leave the house now, Sage isn't going to be stranded. We're grateful for the training that went into making Bella such a great companion for Sage. Sage is considering new options for her future, saying, my goal is to move out into my own place someday. With Bella by my side, that seems much less daunting. Congratulations to Mobility Assist Dog Team Sage and Bella. George has a hypermobility spectrum disorder just moving can cause frequent joint dislocations. Even standing up would be hard without Camilla, his mobility assist dog. 
Camilla helps George with everyday tasks we all take for granted. She opens and closes doors, picks up anything he drops, and generally makes life easier and less painful for him. With Camilla, George's life is opening up. It's definitely increased my independence, he says, and as an 18-year-old, that's kind of a big thing for me. Whether it's going to work or shopping together, this old soul couple, as George describes them, is exploring new horizons. Before Camilla, George didn't have the stamina to do the volunteer work he enjoys. Now he plans to start volunteering again. He recognizes that Camilla will help him achieve new goals and commends those who helped make her possible for him. Congratulations to Mobility Assist Dog Team George and Camilla. Chelsea has type 1 diabetes. For 20 years, she's been unable to use diabetes management equipment. Today, she depends on diabetes assist dog Yuki to alert her to dangerous blood sugar lows. Trained to detect the chemical changes in Chelsea's breath, Yuki gets her attention with intense stares and persistent nudging. Yuki then brings Chelsea juice to help raise her blood sugar level and keep her from having a medical emergency. If more help is needed, Yuki presses an emergency button that signals Chelsea's parents or her sister to check on her. With Yuki on the job, Chelsea doesn't have to worry about hypoglycemic unawareness or check her blood sugar multiple times a day. She's most grateful for the added security Yuki brings when they're home alone, saying, Having the peace of mind that even if I get so low I wouldn't wake up, Yuki would alert somebody. It's a priceless relief. Congratulations to Diabetes Assist Dog Team Chelsea and Yuki. Seventeen years ago, a stroke took away Jody Ann's independence. Wilma was her first mobility assist dog. When Wilma passed away, Jody Ann reached out to Candu Canines again and was matched with Alvin last December. Alvin's main job is helping Jody Ann avoid falls by doing things that could throw her off balance. He opens doors, tugs off her socks so she doesn't have to bend over, and picks up anything Jody Ann drops. Alvin has restored Jody Ann's independence. I don't worry about things as much, she says. If I fall, he can retrieve my walker and bring it to me so I can get up. She adds, I wouldn't be able to live alone if it hadn't been for Wilma and now Alvin. I love that Can Do Canine spends the whole journey with you. They're there for me if I need help. It's comforting to know that even though I'm independent, I'm not alone. Congratulations to successor Mobility Assist Dog Team, Jody Ann and Alvin. <laughs> 